Hello, in this video we're going to talk about scanning with the HDI Advanced Series Scanners. So uh, scanning with a HDI Advanced is very simple. Uh, we do have our rotary stage option uh, which we can use. However, for this video we're not going to cover the rotary stage as that's just as simple as pressing scan and waiting for your part to pop up. Uh, so We'll cover that maybe a little bit more in another video uh, down the road, but for today we're going to just do a basic scan and talk about how we can do some basic alignments uh, you know, and things like that if you do not have a rotary stage. So uh, first and foremost we need to set up our scanned image for the part that we're working with. Uh, so for this particular uh, part it is white so we want our exposure very low i.e. we want it down at 16 milliseconds so when we take a scan with that low number we're going to get a nice crisp clear image of the part and if we uh, have a darker part we need to increase that number so the darker the part is the higher the number we use for our exposure all the way up to your blacks in the 183 to 200 millisecond range uh, so with that being said uh, we have our mesh geometry alignment turned on so if we simply rotate this part slightly then press scan again the software will automatically align these two pieces together and thus give us a secondary view with a little bit more detail of our part and we can use that as a piece uh, to keep on or a process rather to keep on going around our part and building out a full solid model now to keep this video short We'll go ahead and just use what we've got here. Uh, we'll also talk about, if we don't have this turned on, how we can manually align the parts, which I'll simply just take the last piece that we created, unlock it, and then move it out. So this one's meant to be more of a focus on the back area. Uh, now, if we don't have these two pieces, uh, if we're not using our manual alignment, or say, or our mesh geometry alignment, but rather, or say we rotate all the way around the back side or uh, the bottom of the shoe in order to capture all that bottom detail that we're not going to get when it's sitting up like this we need to align that somehow so uh, it's as simple as pressing your alt key and then uh, grab your part and move it into place if you press alt and shift you can in the left mouse button you can rotate around but alt in your middle mouse wheel will allow us to get uh, fairly close and we don't have to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination once that's done we're going to select the drop down menu below align check mesh geometry and press align and just like that our alignment's been put in place now if we press control and the left mouse button uh, after unlocking our scans we can highlight an area then either right click or delete or use the delete key on your keyboard so uh, once we have this, we do need to combine these images into one solid object. So we'll press our Combine tool. If you noticed, uh, the Fine Alignment option was checked on, which just gives us a secondary alignment to ensure that our part is absolutely as close as possible. And once this process has been done, we're going to move into combining the scans, or finalizing the scans, rather, so that we can export it out into uh, whatever software you want to. So, we'll go ahead and press finalize. We have two options, precise merge and smooth merge. They're just as the name implies. Precise is a very precise uh, merging of the two and then smooth merge cleans up our part a little bit. We have two sliders for our density and our hole filling. Uh, smooth merge is the only place you're gonna use a sample density option and the higher it is the more detail you're going to keep on your part so usually when you do the smooth merge I recommend leaving this all the way up we also have a decimate tool 
which allows us to reduce the weight of the file if we so choose. We can press OK and then once that's done we will see our completed part. Now because we have our hole filling all the way up you'll notice this is not a complete part uh, as far as it's not going to be a watertight part so we're going to get a skirt around the edge of the part. If you go through and create a full 360 degree uh, scan of your part you will not have this skirt however it is just uh, something that happens when you take a small section of your part. Uh, for instance, if we look over here, now you can see we've got this skirt around the outside edge. Uh, so, if this is something you don't want, you want to get rid of it, let's do that uh, simply by eroding out our part, which we can erode off the extremities. Again, this is just a tool to show all the various features that we can do here. This isn't by any stretch of the imagination what you uh, would maybe want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is just kind of a demonstration of all the various tools that we have when doing this full process. So now we have that full section there and uh, we can delete off any parts that we don't want. Now let's say, let's say for instance we had a big hole in the middle of our part that we needed, just like we created right there. Well if we go to this hole filling tool we can save this file and then tell it that we want to autofill or select fill that hole. Now, since we already autofilled previously, we won't show that again because we did that in the finalize option. So we'll just do fill selected, which is as simple as clicking the hole and then pressing fill selected. Now, let's say we wanted to create a bridge. So let's say we had a certain area that we wanted to bridge across to fill. Well, if we click down on one edge and hold and then move to another edge, now we've get a, I got a section here that we can tell it to fill only that. So we have a lot of really great tools that we can use here in the software in order to create the file exactly how we want to. Then once that's done, we can save off our file and grab it. So we'll select that file that we created we can rename it if we want to. And then we can also press export and export it as an STL, POI, OBJ, uh, or ASCII point cloud very quickly and very easily, just like so.